Are you struggling to save money in today's economy? The 10 by 1 rule, a surprisingly simple strategy that's changing lives. Have you ever felt like no matter how hard you try, saving money just seems like a mountain too steep to climb? Well, you're not alone. Many people struggle to put some money aside for the rainy days. Now, imagine if there was a simple rule that could change the way you think about saving money. This is where the 10 by 1 rule comes into play. It might sound like a fancy term, but it's actually a pretty straightforward idea that could make a big difference in your wallet. The 10 by 1 rule is like a secret recipe for saving money. Think of it this way. For every 10 units of money you get, you save one unit. So, if you get $10, you save $1. It's a simple method, but sometimes the simplest ideas are the ones that work the best. This rule could help you save money without feeling like you're giving up everything you love. Saving money is tough, especially when life keeps throwing surprises your way. Maybe your car breaks down, or you get a surprise bill in the mail. It feels like the world is against you saving that extra dollar. That's why the 10 by 1 rule could be a game changer. It's not just about stashing away money. It's about creating a habit that sticks with you, making saving money a natural part of your life. This video is going to take you on a journey through the world of the 10 by 1 rule. We'll explore what it is, how it came to be, and hear from people just like you who decided to give it a try. You'll hear the good, the bad, and everything in between. By the end of it, you'll have a new tool in your arsenal to tackle the challenge of saving money. So, let's get started on this adventure together and discover if the 10 by 1 rule could be the answer you've been searching for to finally save money effectively. In today's world, saving money seems to further than ever. Prices for just about everything, from groceries to gas, keep going up. At the same time, many people's paychecks aren't getting any bigger. It's like being stuck in a boat that's slowly taking on water, no matter how fast you try to bail it out. In the middle of all this, we hear stories of real people, from all walks of life, facing the same battle, trying to save money but finding it harder and harder to do. First, let's meet Jamie. Jamie's a teacher who loves her job but finds it tough to put money aside after paying for rent, bills, and the occasional treat to keep her spirits up. Then there's Alex a freelance graphic designer who has good months and not so good months, making saving money feel like a roller coaster ride. Lastly, we have Sam, a college student, juggling studies and part-time work, dreaming of the day when saving money won't feel like a puzzle with missing pieces. The 10 by 1 rule isn't new. It's been around but hasn't always been in the spotlight. The idea is that it's a manageable way for anyone to start saving. It doesn't require you to be a math genius or have a huge income. It's about making a small change that, over time, adds up. You might be wondering, what's so special about this rule? Simply put, it suggests that for every $10 you get, you save $1. It's like finding a $10 bill on the ground and deciding to put $1 of it into a piggy bank. Over time, that piggy bank starts to fill up, little by little. The beauty of the 10 by 1 rule lies in its simplicity. You don't need fancy apps or a degree in finance to get started. All you need is the willingness to try. But where did this idea come from? It's not exactly clear who first came up with the 10 by 1 rule, but it's been mentioned in various financial advice circles for years. It's based on a principle that's as old as money itself, saving a portion of what you earn. The rule works by making saving automatic. Instead of saving what's left over at the end of the month, often nothing, the 10 by 1 rule makes saving the first thing you do when you get money. This small but consistent act of saving can add up to a significant amount over time. But how does it work in real life? Let's say you earn $500 from your job. According to the 10 by 1 rule, you would save $50 of that paycheck. It's about making saving a habit, something you do without even thinking about it too much. Financial experts have mixed feelings about the 10 by 1 rule. Some say it's a great starting point for people who struggle with saving. It's straightforward, easy to remember, and it can be adjusted based on your income and expenses. Others argue that while it's a good start, it might not be enough for long-term goals like retirement or buying a house. They suggest adjusting the rule as your financial situation improves. 
Regardless of the debates, the essence of the 10 by 1 rule is about taking control of your finances one small step at a time. It's about building a foundation of saving that can support bigger financial goals in the future. The journey of saving money with the 10 by 1 rule is like starting a new habit. At first, it's exciting but also a bit daunting. Jamie, Alex and Sam each decided to take this challenge head-on, hoping to see their savings grow over time. For Jamie, the teacher, implementing the 10 by 1 rule meant cutting back on daily coffee runs. Instead of buying coffee every morning, she started making it at home, saving that extra bit of money. At first, she missed her morning coffee ritual, but soon she noticed her savings starting to grow. This small victory gave her the motivation to keep going. Alex, the freelance graphic designer, had a different challenge. His income wasn't always the same every month, making it hard to know how much to save. To tackle this, Alex decided to apply the 10 by 1 rule to whatever he earned, big or small. On good months, he saved more. On slower months, he saved less. Over time, he began to appreciate the flexibility of the rule, making it work for his unpredictable income. Sam, the college student, found the rule to be a bit harder to stick to, especially when friends wanted to go out or when he saw something he really wanted to buy. The temptation to spend was strong, but remembering his goal helped him resist. He also started tracking his savings, which turned into a fun challenge. Seeing the numbers go up each month was a powerful reminder of why he started. Each of them faced setbacks along the way. Unexpected expenses would pop up, like a car repair for Jamie or a new laptop for Alex. These moments tested their commitment to the 10 by 1 rule. But instead of giving up, they adjusted their budgets, cut back on other expenses, and kept saving. They realized that the journey wasn't about never spending money, but about making smarter choices with the money they had. Through their journey, Jamie, Alex, and Sam learned valuable lessons about money, patience, and perseverance. Saving wasn't just about the money. It was about setting a goal and sticking to it, even when it got tough. The 10 by 1 rule didn't just help them save money. It changed how they thought about money altogether. Some experts argue that the 10 by 1 rule is too simple. They say that while it's a good starting point, it doesn't consider all the complexities of personal finance. For instance, someone with a lot of debt might need a more aggressive approach to saving and paying off that debt. Or, for someone with a high income, saving just 10% might not be enough to meet their financial goals, like retiring early. Critics also point out that the 10 by 1 rule doesn't adjust for different life stages or financial goals. For example, a young person just starting out might be able to save only a tiny amount, but as they grow older and earn more, they should probably save a lot more than the rule suggests. Likewise, someone saving for a big goal, like buying a house, might need to save at a much higher rate. Then there's the challenge of high living costs. In some cities, just getting by can take up most of your paycheck, leaving little room for saving. Critics of the 10 by 1 rule say that in these cases, people might need to focus more on increasing their income or reducing expenses in big ways, rather than relying on a simple saving formula. However, supporters of the 10 by 1 rule acknowledge these criticisms and suggest that the rule isn't meant to be a one-size-fits-all solution. Instead, it's a foundation a way to get started on the path to saving. They argue that once someone gets into the habit of saving, they can adjust how much they save based on their own needs and goals. The rule is meant to be flexible, a starting point that can be customized. In the end, whether the 10 by 1 rule is the right approach depends on the individual. It's a tool, and like any tool, its effectiveness comes down to how it's used. The key is to start saving in some way, shape, or form, and then adjust as you go along, based on your personal financial situation and goals.